Can 100% disabled veterans work while they're receiving VA benefits? The answer is yes. 100% disabled veterans can work with no income restrictions at all. The VA isn't uh, running Social Security reports on you. It's just not part of the deal. That's for TDIU, but we're not talking about TDIU. You figured out how to speak the VA's language because you're in the hundo club, right? You have to say certain things in certain ways and say them in as few words possible. may have taken you 30 years uh, to learn that like it did for me, but you figured out how to speak their language. You're going to have this 100% rating for the rest of your life, so it doesn't all just go out the window. You have to do maintenance on this stuff. You don't need to tell the VA any more than they need to know. So go in a couple times a year and make sure that you're up to date on your disabilities and your symptoms, uh, but you don't need to talk about work. I've been 100% permanent in total for just over two years. The subject of work has not come up once, and the subject of are you remarried or seeing someone, that hasn't come up either. So you don't need to offer this information if they don't need to know about it. They don't need to know about your working situation. If you weren't working when you got rating, they don't need to know if you're working now. Most likely, the reason you got the rating in, your, in the first place was because you have uh, work problems. So, great, I got a full-time job. They don't need to know that. They don't need to know about how bitching it is, how much money you're making. It's none of their business. The VA doctors are not your parents. Now, that's a little bit different. Um, you know, I'm not going to say I didn't lie to my parents. Did you smoke weed? No. You know what I mean? They're not going to put you on the spot like that and ask you questions. And, you know, don't lie about your disabilities and your symptoms, but don't offer up stuff that isn't going to help your claim either. Let me give you an example of a situation that might get dicey and it's avoidable if you're not talking about working. So let's say you have a 70% rating for depression, a 50% rating for migraines, a 60% rating for chronic fatigue syndrome, and 10% for tinnitus. You're in the hundo club. So all of those disabilities have some sort of work restriction built into them. Your 70% rating for depression, deficiencies in most areas of your work and social life. You got the rating, they don't need to know about your work and social life anymore. Your migraines, 50% for migraines. Um, severe economic inadaptability, prostrating events, you finally figure out how to say the right words about all that stuff. 60% for chronic fatigue syndrome means that you can't do anything for at least six weeks out of the year. Tinnitus, it doesn't matter. Um, that doesn't have any work restrictions on it. So be careful about what you're saying to your Veterans Health Administration doctors. First of all, they're not your mama or your daddy. They want to run you through there as quickly as possible Yep, saw my patient veteran. Um, he said he was alive. Don't go in there and tell him how awesome you're doing now. That's stupid. Um, veteran said he was alive, updated his meds, uh, did a referral to go talk to mental health, still has the migraines, you know, changed the migraine meds, chronic fatigue syndrome's the same, and his ears are ringing all the time. That's all they want to do. They want to run you in and out in 15 minutes. If you don't want to um, talk to VA doctors, you know, go to community care or private doctor or something like that. The subject of work hasn't come up for me, and it's not going to come up for you unless you offer it up. It's not useful information, and the reason that I'm kind of sticking on this part of it is if it starts getting into your records and the majority of your claims are based on... Um, economic inadaptability, occupational impairment, and you weren't working when you got the rating, that could come back and haunt you in a records review somewhere down the road. So don't put it in there. That strategy, that's my boot camp. That's what I talk about. I preach it and I teach it. You need a doctor that can help you with a Nexus letter. Check out my med team. Here's an email address. Hit them up. Tell them you need a Nexus.